Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, I'm gonna show with you four strategies that you can use to sign your first social media marketing agency client with zero experience. These strategies that I'm about to share with you helped me tremendously when I was starting my social media marketing agency. And they also help my private one-to-one -one mentorship students on a daily basis to sign their first client with zero experience. So all you gotta do is keep on watching. <laughs> The first strategy is building your portfolio the easy way. And by the easy way, I mean tapping into the power of your network before you even go into a cold audience and try to sell your service. And the funny thing is that this is a strategy that most people don't even consider when they're starting their agency. When you're starting your agency, you have to be aware of what you do not have and what you do have. What you do not have is past experience, right? You don't have expertise. But one of the great things that you have, apart from the energy and the drive to be successful with your social media marketing agency, is an access to your network. And the funny thing is that a lot of people think that their network has to be this huge thing, right? Full of rich and successful people. But the reality of it all is that you don't even need that. All you have to do is find one single business owner within your network. And the great thing is, if you can't find a business owner within your network, maybe family and friends and acquaintances, what you can do is you can tap into the network of others. You can actually tap into the network of your friends. You can ask your friends, hey, do you know anyone in your network who runs a business who I could help out with my digital marketing services? And the funny thing is that if you go down that route fast of tapping into your network or your friends' network, it's actually much easier to get that sale because number one, you have that report, you built that report, right? Or if you're tapping into your friend's network, they can vouch for you. So getting that first initial sale is gonna be much easier, which means that then you can get that social proof, that testimonial, that reference from that first client that came from your network. So that when you go into a cold audience to sell your services to people that have never heard of you, then it's actually much easier because you have that reference, that social proof. So that is the first strategy. Let's say that you don't wanna go down the network route. Maybe you don't have a network at all, which is very hard to believe. Uh, but let's just say that you want to go into a cold audience straight away. If that is the case, then I've got a strategy for you. But before we get into the second strategy, if you haven't done so already and you're enjoying this video, go ahead and gently tap the like button. For some reason, YouTube just finds it incredibly sexy when that like button turns blue. So the YouTube algorithm would love it and I would really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get back into the video. The second strategy to securing your first SMA client with zero experience is making sure that it's a no-brainer, low commitment engagement. Now, I personally don't believe that offering your services for free is a good idea. I could make a whole video about this, but essentially one of the main reasons for that is that I truly believe people have to pay to pay attention. So when someone invests in something, they are emotionally invested into that decision, into that action, right? And so when you offer your service for free for clients, they're not invested into it. So for example, if you ever have to get creative from them or you're trying to launch a very time sensitive, aggressive campaign, since they're not invested into the success of your service, it makes it much harder to get them results. Instead, there's two ways that you can do this. Number one is by tweaking the price. So what I recommend you guys do is you make the base fee a complete no brainer, right? Something that they've never seen in the industry and you make most of the money on the performance driven incentive. So by getting them an incredible performance, that's where you make your money. And the way I like to do that is by ad profit deals. You can also try ROAS deals, although I'm not a massive fan of that. Or the second way that you can do this is by doing a test phase that can last for six to eight weeks. And in those six to eight weeks, you're gonna be able to prove your value to them. They're also gonna be able to see whether your service is of value. And most importantly as well, during those six to eight weeks, you're gonna be able to see whether this client is actually worth it, whether you can actually get results for this client, whether this client is gonna be a home run, which makes it so much easier to retain them for a long time because if they pass that test phase, that means that you can get them incredible results, which you're gonna be able to sustain for a longer period of time. So that is the second strategy and now to the third strategy. The third strategy is leveraging your contractor's experience. If you guys are not new to my channel, you know that I talk a lot about building an A-team for your agency. As an agency owner, you should not be doing the service yourself. Not because you cannot, right? But simply because if you do the service yourself and you do everything yourself, right? You act as a solopreneur or a, as a dual contractor, then that actually means that you have less time to scale your agency. You have less time to put into sales and outreach and making sure that your clients are really well taken care of, providing them an incredible client experience. Having said that, the contractor that you go on to hire will have years of experience in the space. He or she will have worked with a bunch of different clients. And all you gotta do is ask them, hey, can I use your client testimonials? Can I use the case studies that you've got in four previous clients to attract new clients for my agency? And the funny thing is that you're creating a win-win scenario, right? By using your contractor's case studies, you can bring on clients for your agency, which means that your contractor also gets paid. And so in the end, they win, you win, and you manage to sign your first client with zero experience. So that is the third strategy, and now to the final strategy. The fourth strategy is letting your actions, not your experience, do the talking. 
And the funny thing is that most people think that to sign their first client and convince a client to come on board, they think they can only do that with past history and past results. And that is just simply not the case. If you, for example, take a look at some of the most exciting startups that have gotten millions in funding, they didn't have past history. They don't have a proven record. What they do have is they have a vision. They have a deck that they can show investors. They have a process to result, a process to monetization, right? And that is essentially what we're doing with our agency when we're starting out. And so the worst thing that you can do when you start your agency is jump on a call on a sales call with a prospect and not be prepared, right? Because you don't have the authority or the social proof to do that. So what you can do when you jump on those sales calls with prospects, you can make that call into a demo call. As much as possible, show them what they can expect inside. And that is one of the things that I did when I started my agency, I built this incredible ecosystem, these reporting systems, right? This communication protocols. And then I would actually show my clients on the call what they can expect inside. So that not only helped me build confidence and report with my clients, but it also meant that they could future project and imagine themselves already being a client of mine, which made the sales so much easier. So as the final strategy, I recommend that if you don't have any experience, if you don't have any track record, the worst thing that you can do is jump on a call not prepared, right? So take these calls, take these opportunities when you're talking to a client to show them as much as possible what they can expect inside. Make that sales call into a demo call, right? Show them all the ecosystems you built. Show them, for example, your contractors that you have in place. Brag about the fact that you built an incredible uh, ecosystem and an incredible team for your agency. So guys, those are the four strategies that I recommend you put in place to sign your first client with no experience at all. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a massive thumbs up. It really helps out a ton with the algorithm and I'd really appreciate it. Also leave them below any comments, any questions you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subbed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on social media marketing agency, entrepreneurship, marketing, and a bunch of other really, really cool topics that you're not gonna wanna miss out on. So go ahead and sub to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you never miss an update. And finally, if you haven't joined my free private mentor community, it's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their agency and level up in life. So if you wanna join that community, go ahead and check out the link in the description, uh, go ahead and apply, and if you're a good fit, we will let you in. And as always guys, hope everything's going well in your journey and I will see you in the next video, peace.